What's going on guys? My name is Carl and if you didn't know already, I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, hoping to become full-time in the future. This is just kind of my journey to becoming a full-time reseller. So today, as I said, I'm going to do, sorry, I said I was going to do a little bit of picking and packing. Um, so just picking some orders that I've had today and then packing them up and showing you how I tend to pack things up. So let's get into picking first and then we'll get into the packing. First couple of things that I sold were in here. Um, so Star Wars Battlefront 2 for PS2. That went for £4.59 plus postage. Then we have um, Beijing Olympics 2008 on the PS3. That one went for £5.89, I believe, free postage. Then we have this pop figure that went for eight pounds and nine pence plus postage. Uh, what else was there? There was a couple more things, but I can't quite remember. Let me have a look. Ah, yes. That was. Xbox 360 controller in black. And that one sold for £16.19. So I think I had 10% off uh, sale on them ones. And then the last thing, I'm going to have to quickly stop the camera and get that. Uh, bear with me two seconds. So the last thing was this Builder Bear. So apparently, this is quite a rare Builder Bear. I'm no, not too sure which ones are rare, which ones aren't. So it was a Halloween special at some point. So this is a bit of a bolo. I picked this up for 50 pence uh, or a pound, one of the two. And this is actually sold for 17 99 plus postage. So if you ever find this Builder Bear, pick it up if you can get a good price for it. Because it's worth around about £20. So this is everything that needs to be packed up today. Um, so I've sold a, also sold a big job lot of these um, thumb grips to the reselling kid who needed some to complete uh, some controllers to get them sold so i'm going to pop you to one side so what i like to do with teddies uh so plush teddies and stuff like that is i do like to make sure that they are well protected so i'll tend to pop them in one of these um kind of clear bags which again just get off ebay and things like that and they go inside of one of them Sometimes you do have to sit them down. Just tuck in the ears. Sorry, I know I'm over the shot at the moment but I'm just trying to make this work. There we go. So there we go. So I like to put them in one of them bags. It doesn't really matter if it ends up looking like that. Uh, once it gets to the other end, obviously that'll be opened up and it looks much better. And then what I do is get a mailing bag and just pop it in there. Nice and simple. And that just means that if the mailing bag is broken for any reason or pierced or anything, it has an extra little bit of protection on there. So there we go. That's that one done. Then that would be weighed and obviously um, posters label put on. Then for 
Xbox 360 controllers. I like to use these little boxes that I bought off eBay. Can't remember the exact measurements. I'll try and find that and put that in the description. So. There you just get a little bit of tape on. Some protective paper. Sorry, I know you can't see that very well. Do apologise about that. The camera decided to cut itself off. So yeah, uh, protective paper in the box. Then I'll put the controller. And also every pack gets one of these thumb grips as well. And then just some more paper on top. there what I will normally do as well is write on the top what it is so Xbox controller and then I know that one's a teddy so I won't necessarily put the um, the description of what that is next we'll do the pop figure so again I use one of them boxes which I'm scarily running out of very quick so I need to order some more one of these little boxes. I did actually originally buy these boxes for Xbox controllers, um, but they work perfectly for the pop vinyl, so it's really good. And again, what I tend to do is just make a little hole in the middle. And then just pop the pop inside. Try and not damage the box, obviously. More than likely, there's going to some sort of collector. And again, just right on the box. Pop. And obviously, I will wear that afterwards as well, but you don't need to see that. Then we have two games, so it's Beijing and the um, Star Wars Battlefield. What I'll try to do with that, I'll take this over to my bubble wrap. So what I'll do is I'll cut it. Perfect size, lengthways, uh, width, sorry, and then just wrap that in that, and then that gets a poly bag. So I do have boxes for games as well, um, but I do only tend to put the more expensive games in. So I've kind of kind of got like a price where I'll only put a game in if it's over a certain amount um, into a box the rest of them goes in a poly bag with some bubble wrap on which is still some really good protection on it I've never had any bad feedback off doing this so it obviously the other games do get to the, the other side perfectly fine just sometimes a bit of a pain to get in the bag <laughs> oh come on There we go. That goes in there. Pull off the tab. That gets pushed over. And then that is PS3. Okay. And then the next one, obviously the same. Uh, I won't bother doing that. And then with these uh, thumb grips, what I tend to do, I'm going to use a large bag. Uh, only reason why is because I'm running again massively low on the slightly smaller ones I tend to use for things like clothes and things like that and I want to try and save as so much of them as possible so I will try and kind of neatly put these in so then they're not just like going everywhere in the bag I know they don't need to be protected necessarily
there we go so again this just seal that up ah getting stuff everywhere there <laughs> that'll do and then what i will do as well um is i'll tape the sides down so what you want to do is if you ever get something where you need to fold the poly bags over make sure you haven't got a hole in them um it's only because when they go through sorry i'll send them to obviously royal mail when they go through the royal mail um like kind of sites or the sorting offices and stuff like that if there's a big hole here sometimes they can get caught on things and rip the whole bag open so always worth if you are packaging something in a poly bag or something like that and there's a kind of a an opening just like that where you need to fold it over just make sure that you tape that up just to stop um obviously getting damaged or something like that as well so i'll just tape that up quickly there we go i will tape it up a little bit more but you get the gist um so yeah so all these need now is um obviously uh, pattern labels on and then to be shipped off and that's it so thank you very much for watching this video i know it is just a short one um but i thought i'd try and get some more videos out and i've never really done a, a video on me pattern there's not a massive amount of learn um obviously a, a lot of people do package different ways and stuff like that so yeah thank you very much for watching uh, please do consider subscribing if you're not already and i'll see you in the next one